A very disgruntled resident recently inked a letter highlighting his concerns. He opined that the road design ignored the residents of communities on the East Coast as it does not allow for vehicles to turn into villages on the southern side of the road while traveling in an easterly direction. This means if someone wants to exit the road into Atlantic Gardens, he cannot do so because a concrete median is placed in the middle of the road. The evening news was told that because of the median being placed there, residents are forced to go as far as up to other villages to cross over to the other side of the road to access the entrance to the scheme which has only one way in and out. A few skeptical residents shared their concerns. It's affecting us very badly because we've got the business across the road where we have to go every day and we cannot use our vehicles or anything. We just have to walk across and as well in the night which is very dangerous and we have to walk back home every night. Um, so why why walking? Why uh, can't you because you can't cross the road, they, they have the... Um, the thing in the middle? Yeah. It's inconvenient because we have to go all the way around to get in here. A 59-year-old woman who is affected told this newscast that she is very upset about what is taking place as she does several jobs to take care of herself and family. I've been living okay. here for the past three years. We've noticed the road construction started but they haven't... There weren't any published notices and we don't know what's going on with the road actually because in the afternoon, some afternoons, it's very, very inconvenient getting from work because we have to drive all the way to where um, the Massey supermarket is constructing to turn back to come home. One afternoon I stopped to ask one of the contractors whether they're going to have um, they're going to have a a median so that we can mm -hmm. pass but apparently the guy wasn't asking, uh, wasn't understanding what I was saying to him. And then, not only that, in the morning it's very confusing. I don't understand how come they're making roads. And this has always been a problem. The other day I almost missed my work because I thought they some notice my husband came home and said he saw that they were going to close the roads. So I don't know how they're making all the road at once too. Because there are no diversion for other people. As you know, Atlantic Garden is only one exit, one entrance. Mm. So when they're going to pitch the other side of the road, I don't know how we're going to get out there. And I don't understand why they're not constructing, doing work at night. All the works are done during the day yeah. road works are usually done at nights when there's not traffic there mm -hmm. and the whole traffic is bulk up and there's no consideration for people since the commencement of road works to the east coast road several businesses have complained of losing sales as the entrance has been barred due to the ongoing works moreover road users along the east coast have been complaining bitterly over the apparent lack of supervision of the project which in some cases have caused a heavy traffic buildup during rush hours the U.S. 50.2 million expansion project has two components. One features a four-lane expansion of the road from Better Hope to Annandale, and the other caters for an upgrade to the existing two-lane road from Annandale to Belfield. The project is expected to be completed by 2019. Davina Ramdas for the Evening News.